أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر ماندرا سولي The CEO of Phoenix Digital Technology Mr. Mandra, I would like to welcome you first in our Thank program today. Much. Thanks a lot. It's really an honor to meet such a nice guy like you. We'd like also to know you more and also to introduce you for our audience. Okay, so I'm Mandar Sure. Uh, I've spent more than three decades of uh, IT experience. I worked in a global organizations, uh, spending the uh, last eight years in UAE. Before that, I was in uh, India, US, Europe, and worked on a various geography. Uh, as a part of my uh, last eight years, I have a, a couple of stints. I have been working with one of the company earlier as a CEO, and last uh, two years plus, I've been working as a CEO for Phoenix Digital Technology, uh, which is a new IT services startup. Perfect. So tell us more about the services that you provide here for the customers in Phoenix, and what type of customers also you are dealing with. Okay. So we provide uh, largely the services into two or three areas. Uh, our entire services is basically from the focusing on how can we add a value to customer in their technology transformation. So we, our services is basically based on how can we help them to do a digital transformation, leveraging the various technology solution. While we do that, we also put an emphasis on uh, leveraging whatever the investment they have done. That means we do not want it to push customer to invest more and more onto the new technology. We rather would like to get best thing out of whatever investment they have made into the technology to leverage. Uh, while this is at a broader level, get once uh, to the next level from a technology perspective, we are working in a th predominantly three, uh, three areas. One is we are helping customer doing the cloud adoptions and application modernizations. We are helping customers in their large uh, engagements uh, for uh, in the infrastructure and application monitoring and modernization. So these are the IT infrastructure when I say. And the third area which we work is in the area of uh, automation. <coughs> Wherein how can we help customers reduce the operational, uh, uh, operational cost and reduce the human errors. Because once you do the automation, the probability of a human error gets reduced substantially. And that is uh, very much essential to, you know, I mean, going forward and support the customers. Perfect. So here in the UAE, the business, all type of business here, all industries have a lot of competition. The competitors are really aggressive upon their offers, their prices, they're also their services as well. You have to have something special here in the UAE so you can always success. So what makes you special than others, especially in this field? So there are <coughs> two to three things what makes us uh, as, a, uh, as a differentiator for us. One of the things we, I mean, we always like to follow a path which has been less traveled by mm -hmm. others. So while we do that, obviously we can create the uh, differentiation for ourselves. We are one of the, uh, you know, I mean, uh, cloud partner for Oracle Cloud, which is like, okay. uh, uh, you know, from an Oracle Cloud perspective, we are the services level five, expert services level five company. So as we understand, we are the only company in this region, besides the global companies, mm -hmm. who are having that kind of a credentials, so which is also one of the key differentiation for us. Uh, while we do that, uh, we have a consultant as our team, which has comprised of the people with a more than two decades of global experience. While they are working in this region, they have been worked on to the glo various global customers and then they come over here. So uh, their, their competency, their experience, their technology understanding also helps a lot and of create course. a differentiation. Uh, third thing is we believe in creating a differentiation and uh, delivering the service differently. So while we do that, uh, our team, since they come with a high technical expertise and the global experience, we, uh, we believe in building the team with a high technical expertise. And we leverage the, our partners to deliver the lower end job. So that is where we can add a value to our customers delivering the solution. And uh, 
of course while we do that we also believe in delivering the project in a cost optimized manner at the same time uh, faster time to market so that customer can get a true value of their investment faster perfect so what's your goal and what's your future plans okay so it's a little uh, you know in the uh, a tricky thing i mean if you really ask me uh, corona a pandemic has resetted the many things yes uh, we have been lucky enough to survive manage we just started before that but we are somehow able to manage and survive uh, while we do that uh, you know 2020 we just managed to survive 2021 we actually consolidated our position and built certain deliverables certain practices and so on and so forth we believe 2022 is a year for a rapid growth while we do that next five years we are looking out for building our operations not just in uh, uae and the middle east but we would like to get it expanded beyond currently we are operating from india middle east uh, part of it but we would like to have operations beyond india middle east and would like to truly become a global company having the base in europe as well as uh, us and that's how we look at it for next five years uh, you know uh, and while we do that we also believe uh, since uh, we are a services company uh, our key uh, strength is our human capital so we would like to give the opportunity to our teammates to be part of this company and grow uh, the, uh, and let them grow along with us of course we hope all the best for you and also to expand more globally and when you expand don't forget us as abc arabia tv channel always remember that one day we will have a meeting and interview with abc arabia of course here in the uae the safety and security is really on another level it's a high level of safety and security how can this affect you as a businessman and how can also this affect the investors that are coming from outside and willing to invest their money and time here in dubai so you know i will look at it uh, i mean i would like to add a couple of points over here of course uh, dubai is also becoming uh, one of the most prominent and look after place when it comes to startup community yes dubai startup uh, uh, culture is becoming more and more vibrant in last 2 to 3 years or 3 to 4 years i will say uh, while that is happening the safety and security plays a very vital role when it comes to growth of any company any organization uh, along with that many government policies which is coming out are very conducive enough for any growth of the companies i also see a lot of support from the government in terms of getting many people skill trained so you know localization so we do believe adopting these uh, localization getting the uh, various culture people together will be uh, good for building the cross culture organization which can help us to build different different uh, different different cultures different deliverables different language supports and build the solutions globally of course so before we end our interview also would like to thank you for being with us today it's really an honor to meet such a wise businessman here in the UAE and we would like also to know how can we reach and contact phoenix okay uh, phoenix digital technologies you can reach on to the contact details which can be given below uh, and you can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help customers uh, to reduce their cost of services and more importantly uh, help customer to be a partner in their digital transformation journey of course thank you again mr mandra الى هنا اعزائي المشاهدين ننهي حلقتنا الاسبوعيه مع ضيفنا المميز مستر ماندرا تابعونا اتش فرايداي اند ساتردي اون يور تشانل اي بي سي اريبيا تي في تشانل دمتم بخير وفي امان الله